Welcome to Love Budget Reviews of Donkey Kong Country. This is Ron Moore along with the Star Soldier. Yo, what's happening there, everybody? Yep, and I did a Love Budget review of this game. No, not this game, uh, part two. Diddy's Conquest back in 2010, I believe it was, with Angel and the Unknown. And I want to go ahead and do a low budget review of this one. <laughs> Poor original though. Fuck you, Kong. You yep. anymore. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's Donkey Kong Jr. that's pushing them around. No, this is grandson, I think. Could be, yeah. Alright, so I never got all the bonus stages in this game. I did in 2 and 3. But not the first one for some reason. In part two, we had help with the player's guide. They're very hard to find here. Yeah. You almost have to make else? like a leap of faith just to find them. Yeah, and something else is going to be hard to find in these bananas. as They've been stolen by King K. Rule. Mm -hmm. King Jerule? Yeah, so I guess the storyline of the game is just to get the bananas back from King K. Rule. <laughs> This game will drive you bananas, but it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, just look at it. <laughs> it still looks good. And it came out way back in 94. Yeah, and apologize for the glitchy background. That's the emulator. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that now. Yeah, all right. Now I got Wee Guy with me here. Now Wee Guy's, uh, now Wee Guy's on his own as Don uh, Donkey Kong got, got hit and ran off like a sissy. <laughs> There's Rhino, Ram, Rainbow, whatever his name, Rambi, Bambi, yeah. whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, I came out in 94, I didn't actually play this game to 95. Really? Why so late? Went, huh? Why so late? I don't know, I didn't always have access back then to games I wanted. Uh, but, uh, Swindoll did, he played this around the time it first came out. Yeah, I mean, for its time, man, the graphics just ECW. This back when Rare was awesome. <laughs> yeah, not so much anymore. Hopefully they can yeah. redeem themselves with that pretty game retro collection on that spot's one, but we'll see. Well, I guess it's a rare occurrence that they hit a home run. Yeah. <laughs> now, Diddy Kong makes a tag to Donkey Kong. Get ready for the 3D! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, the game definitely has a pretty cool soundtrack as well. Yeah, that guy made so good. Yeah, I think this came out the same year as Killer Instinct, or I think this came out. Uh, yeah, that's right, this came out first. Yeah, Killer Instinct came out at the same time. I think in the arcades, then a year later, yep. it came out on Super Nintendo in the water That's down right. port. Do you remember the Donkey Kong Country sneak uh, preview VHS tape? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. I somehow got a hold of it. I don't know how. I think you requested for free from Nintendo Power. Oh no, hurry up, get in there. Oh, no. oh. oh you didn't get the G. What up, G? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I forgot how I got it, but, um, it was, it's just, uh, talking about the making of Donkey Kong Country and when it's going to come out and they're hyping up and everything. And the background, the very end of the tape after the credits or whatever, the cameraman breaks into the room and, like, sh shows a, a quick uh, clip of the Killer Instinct title screen teasing Killer Instinct. Pretty cool. <laughs> and, and,. Cranky Kong is right, right here. He's basically saying, you know, games are better back in the day, and <laughs> he's pretty much right. All graphics, no gameplay. Three, two, Meg. Yeah. Back in the days, we used to have real gameplay. He's right. <laughs> gameplay is more challenging stuff back then. Young whippersnappers, as HVGN said one time in his little Nemo the Dream Master review, 
none of this ratchet and clank BS. Back then, games were hard, just like in real life. <laughs> yeah, I keep on forgetting how easy the games are nowadays with all the checkpoints, all save states. You know, <laughs> and if you die, you pretty much die in the same spot. Yeah, well, I'm not talking about emulation. I'm talking about like the actual games that come out on the systems, yeah. like how they're programmed to challenge. Yeah. And like, I mean, I go back back then. Me and you grew up in the era where we didn't have safe states and stuff, and so I mean, uh, but now I'm glad we had that stuff. Or at least I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, like, just to, I mean, just for the sake of playing through. We had Game Genie back then. Well, technically, <laughs> I can't use it if I'm Smith or Twin Gallo. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about I like to do it for fun, <laughs> like. If I want to get yeah. through the game I, and I can't really beat it, or if I want to get through a review and I really want to show the whole game, then I'll cheat for the sake of showing the whole game. Yeah. Because the, the LP on S2K wouldn't have been as epic if I would have just gave up and quit, or it would have been too much hard work and frustration just to beat a game. If I have easy access to cheat, I'll do it. <laughs> At least I'm upfront about it. Yeah. The only time I don't cheat is uh, <laughs> really is when in my uh, challenge videos. Because, of course, I want that to be legit. We well, could still cheat in that. Just don't tell anybody. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to be a phony. Alright, so. It's one of the bonus stages in here. Alright, this, this music, right? This track right here. It sounds like Nickelodeon music or something. Like from Eureka's Castle. I never watched that show. <laughs> just the music just... Or, Sounds like Nickelodeon friendly music, because I used to watch Nickelodeon a lot back then. Oh. Yeah, it's, this is one of the games that you play with a bunch of your friends. <laughs> yeah, you can really be mean to the other friend if you do two-player mode. Yeah, didn't <laughs> you and Jay review this game? Did we review it? I think yeah. I just reviewed it myself. Oh, okay, because he would get mad and probably... Uh... <laughs> And probably put you in RKO or something, or you have another fight like y'all did two times already. <laughs> uh, now, I, I'm not a huge fan of water levels, but this is one of the few exceptions where I do like it because it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. The other exception is Mario 64, Jolly Roger Bay. Pretty epic. Yeah, the Skip oh, Rogers Bay or whatever. Levels, yeah, they're very slow, but... Of course, swordfish that changes everything. Yeah. Oh no, it's an arrow. What could it be? Yeah, swordfish, not John Travolta. <laughs> oh, the film with Howie Berry. Yeah. Here's on guard. It'd be on guard in this level. This is actually the easy water level. There's a like two, I think two more harder ones some, sometime after this later on in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, come on. <sighs> oh. We get the oh, halfway point. Yeah, there you go. Oh, come on. I tried to hit him with my, my nose. Oh, your there we nose. Go. Yeah. It's like Pinocchio. Pinocchio fish. <laughs> and this track is epic. I think they came out with the CD. <sighs> With a CD, just like with Killer Instinct, I think. Whoa, it was two of them. Oh, come on, Donkey, get on there. <laughs> Donkey, That'd be cool oh, if yes, you both ride it. That'd be cool if you could both ride two on guards. Yeah. I think it would have broke the game, though. Yeah. Espresso. It was cool. I don't know why they made the sequel. I think on guard and... Rampage, they made the sequel, but the other Squawks. characters didn't, yeah. Squawks 2. Squawks yeah. is much more useful in Part 2. Yep. In Part 2, they had Glimmer, who sucked. The freaking flashlight gave you a seizure. <laughs> yeah, I hate that Part 2. That was the only yeah. crappy part about Part 2, because it was pretty much a better sequel in every way, because even though this game is great, you know, it has a few problems. Yeah. Like on the map here, it's pretty much going spot to spot. Yeah. Not oh, a lot of stuff. There's Star, there's Star Soldier Kong. Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby! Jump in my bodacious barrel! <laughs> so you can travel to other levels. <laughs> Uh, thing is, I don't think you can use them right now, eh? Well, you can, but it doesn't make much use. I just wanted to... <laughs> an excuse to ride this thing real quick. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to show Funky Kong real quick, have me introduced in the game, and... Yeah, yeah, and such barrel. music. <laughs> yeah. At least he's, he's a much better... He's much cooler than Swanky Kong. If Swanky Kong was kind of a douche. Yeah. At least he gave you one-ups. Yeah. Was there a Spanky Kong or probably not? I don't think Nintendo will approve that. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds kind of dirty. Yeah. Pretty. Well, it probably wouldn't mean to be dirty. Just our minds can sometimes <laughs> work like that. Our minds never. I mean, they had but they had deep throat in Melgar Solid, and people took that the dirty way. <laughs> then again, that's not Nintendo. <laughs> you see that Donkey Kong just floated in there with me. <laughs> I think the gaming glitch Gremlins in this game, or at least in the background. He's yeah. like, yeah, that's right. You don't use a real game. Use an emulator. <laughs> Who has a real game anymore? If I had the real game, I could easily sell for 30 bucks. Yeah. I had the real game. I had a collection. But uh, I had to sell pretty much most of it just to make rent an apartment I first moved in a few years ago. and A different apartment. And yeah, I had that. I might have sold that to either we got or Kevin from s 2 I forgot, but I did have the cartridge. Oh, yeah. I think I had all three of them. And for those of you who don't know, we got did work on the LP of part three years ago, but his computer crashed and he never got around to really doing it again. Hopefully in the future he will. Because we have some good commentary going on for that and then he never saw the lot of day. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I really miss this old series. Here's an introduction to Candy Kong. Yeah, that's kinda of creepy. <laughs> yeah. He's, how old is Diddy Kong 11? She's like, what, 18? Why don't you have a seat over there? Why don't you take a seat over there? How old is Diddy Kong? Oh, 18! No, it says here in the chat log, he's 11. Wouldn't they be a lot younger since they're apes? I guess so. I don't think they live as long as humans. Here's the boss of the first uh, part of the game. Not very <laughs> naughty, naughty, whatever his name is. Naughty Beaver. Or Sucky Beaver because he sucks. <laughs> we haven't seen the last of him. So we will go to the next part of the game. Monkey Minds. And part two of Low Budget Reviews. Till then, God bless. Take care. It's a barrel full of fun, baby. <laughs>